Yeah, it was always my intent to make put robotics on the same level as the sports, if not more so. That was always my intent. Certain things matter. Where you do it matters. How you organize it matters. I always wanted Bankers Life Field House, downtown, Central Point. Everybody knows it. Pacers play there. I always said, and this was a continuous running joke in the city of Indianapolis, I wanted a four-foot trophy. I wanted, the, I wanted the trophy to be bigger, the winning trophy to be bigger than any sports trophy in the school. Because I want to send the signal to the kids about how important this was. Where it was, the size of the trophy, very, very much uh, just an incredible amount of fun. I wanted it to be the biggest trophy of anything in school. Little did I know how big band trophies are. They're really huge. We found uh, money up right up front. I give Roche Diagnostic all the credit in the world uh, for uh, writing a nice check on that, on that first year uh, to make sure everybody was funded appropriately. We started with high schools. That first year, we got 30 new high schools doing robotics. Companies like Roche need talented, high-quality individuals to help us execute our mission, and that's bringing better health care to, to the patient. And so being involved in something like this really helps us give to the community, but also allows us to uh, build that workforce for us to uh, hopefully have someday those future scientists, those future engineers working at Roche to develop that next great product for our patient lives. In Indianapolis, in 2013, in the first quarter, there were 3,500 jobs available in STEM fields alone with an average salary of over $50,000 a year. So when the mayor looks at robotics, he looks at it as a way to invest long-term in workforce development. At each competition, as I move along, a lot of parents always come up to me and they say, thank you for doing this. And, you know, my kid has renewed interest in school. Uh, gee, he's learning some things. He, he, uh, he maybe he didn't know along and I didn't know how to get it into him. And now this competition is doing this. Uh, I, I, get a, I get quite a bit of that. But I had one parent in particular, a little hard to say this, but she couldn't even look at me. She couldn't look at me because she was crying so hard. Uh, she just couldn't turn around because she was embarrassed. And she said, I, I had lost my kid. I had lost my kid. That's what she said. He didn't have any friends. He wasn't doing well in school. He couldn't get along with anybody. And this brought him out. She had her son back. And, uh, very powerful. Very, very powerful stuff. That's something, just an idea, and bring everybody along can have that impact on a family. And, and that kid is not going in the right direction. And she just could not uh, bring herself to turn around. I'll never forget it, I'll never forget it. This has been an absolutely extraordinary experience and it's been our pleasure to work with the mayor for these past years, bringing this opportunity to the students of Indianapolis. Thank you, Mayor Ballard. Thank you for your leadership in, in making Indianapolis a, a great place for our companies like Roche to do business. Uh, a great place for us to work and a great place for us to live. Thank you.